I'm currently 2-0 with this team, 10 wins away from that first flawless of the year. In this video, I'm playing until we get that first flawless of the year or we lose a game with this team, whatever happens first. Now, before I hop into the first gameplay, if you're logged into YouTube and you can hear me right now, I would love it if you dropped a happy birthday to my mom in the comments section. It's her birthday today. And when I see her later tonight, I would love to be able to show her the comments on this video. A lot of y'all wishing her a happy birthday. That'd be awesome. We're 2-0 with this team. Let's see if we could be 3-0. We're the home team, so we get a pitch first. And pitching has been the worst part of my game recently, so I need that to change today. Already off to a bad start, messing up that first throw meter. I think we're just going to go get a double play, erase that air to start this game. That's a double play ball. 70 speed. It might not be enough to turn it. We're going to try. And we got it. Look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. One out away from a one, two, three. Top of the first. No. Don't get through Ian Hep. Okay, the throw meter so far has been an issue. I don't think we would have had him anyways, but I really need to make sure that I'm getting those throws down for the rest of this ball game, the rest of this video. And Mickey Mantle grounds it to Ian Happ. Pretty easy. No stress at all. Top of the first inning. Let's see if we could take an early lead. I was batting 750 with Steve Finley. And now that's just an easy on number one. 99 Hank Aaron still looking for my first home run with this card. I thought we maybe had it. Chased a pitch. I thought it was going to be more in the zone, but we do have our first base runner. Now we could drive him in and be six ounces away from that third win. Anthony Rizzo. Perfect, perfect. 74 power. Not going to be enough. That's out number two. And that's ball four to Miguel Sano. A little bit scared of him. I don't blame him. It's bringing up Francisco Lindor, who we're 0 for 1 with to start this BR run. But he's not going to be 0 for 2. Yes, he is. Mickey Mantle caught that. Are you kidding me? Oh, that was a rough inning. I'm just hoping. Wow. It's the glove, man. If he had a normal glove, he would not have caught that one. Let's see if we could have another scoreless inning on the mound. Brad Keller. I'm going to give him one more base runner. Or if a lefty comes up to bat, I'll probably go to the bullpen. There's strike three. I guess Bo Bichette didn't expect that one to be a strike. I'm going to go to a lefty here to face Curtis Granderson. My opponent brought in a pinch hitter. First pitch that we throw with a Roldis Chapman. It's out number two. Just one more before we get to try to hit again. And there we go. Two pitches, two outs for a Roldis out of the bullpen. Let's go try to hit here in the bottom of the second. I'm first pitch swinging. Not the best. Out number one. That's going to be out number two. The PCI was perfectly on the ball. If you look in the bottom left, once it shows up again, you can't even see that center dot. So that's good on the PCI placement. But now we just need to try to get good timing. And we should start scoring some runs in no time. There we go. It's a base hit. A two-out base hit. I need to try to get the top of my lineup back up. If we could somehow have 99 Hank Aaron up again, bottom of the second, that'd be the perfect situation. Our nine hitter, though, Danny Jansen, is going to need to get on base. And he does get on base. 64 speed. I'm going to send him to third. I hope I don't regret it. I don't think we should. He's going to be in there safely. Now we have two runners in scoring position with two down. Top of our lineup is back up again. It's Steve Finley. He is due for a base hit. I can already tell. And it's a big one. Perfect, perfect. Lefty, lefty bomb. I think you left Carlos Rodon in a little bit too long. 3-0. And it's about to be win. Number three. I really thought Hank Aaron just got his first home run. How am I with max power and max contact just having the PCI so far underneath it? At least Steve Finley was able to come through in a big way. Let's just get these final three outs for win number three. Well, that is not the first out of the inning. Double play ball from Nelson Cruz. Anthony Rizzo with the dive. 16 speed. Wow, what a play. And we're just one out away from win number three. That was kind of crazy. I'm hoping he doesn't bunt with 99 Lou Brock. He doesn't. Does he go to second, though? If he goes to second, we have him easily. Yo, Steve Finley. 
First, he wins the game with a home run. Then he gets the final out of the game. Truly the MVP of game number three. We're 3-0 with this team. Let's try to be 4-0. We're the home team again, so we get a pitch first. Both of us have that 99 hammering Hank Aaron. Ball four to Lubrock. I am having a hard time recently with my pitching because I don't... Oh, and he's stealing with Lubrock. Uh-oh. Is he going to be in scoring position? Oh, I should have been paying attention. I should have known from the last game. 99 speed, he's probably going to be stealing on me. But I really need to just make sure I'm hitting my spots. Not giving up any hittable pitches. That's out number one. I'm tempted to try to set up a double play. I think I'm going to do my best to pitch around Eduardo Escobar. If we walk him, we walk him. But if we get a strikeout, that also would be pretty cool. Do I go home with it? Perfect throw for me in half. Wow, I've been so good with these perfect throws recently. I don't know if you saw yesterday's video, if you saw the ending of the first game in this video, but I have been hitting those perfect throws to save myself from getting runs scored against me like crazy. And there's a scoreless top of the first inning. Guess who's due up? The MVP from last game, Steve Finley. And then Hank Aaron's on deck, still looking for his first home run of this Battle Royale run. This is game number four, going for win number four. Steve Finley's just so good, man. I don't know why, but I feel locked in every time I use a Steve Finley card. Not a bad swing from Steve Finley, but I don't like that I'm chasing a curveball below the zone. Look at where the pitches from Michael Kopech has been. This dude is dotting my life away right now. Everything is right on the corners. But Hank Aaron doesn't care. He's getting a base hit anyways. Still really looking for that first home run. But now he's going to be in scoring position with only one down. Oh, it's going to advance the runner. Two down, cleanup hitter. We're going to see if we can drive in that run from third with Miguel Sano taking an early lead. He's still looking for his first home run. Is it going to get through? 47 speed. I think this should be out number three. Not the best first inning, but at least we're not losing. Anytime we can still be tied, I'm always going to take that. Brian Reynolds to start, top of the second. Should be out number one. Steve Finley's going to get there, no problem. Two more to go here in the top of the second. Alejandro Kirk going to be getting a base hit. Steve Finley not going to get him at second. That's rolling all the way to the wall. I wish we could have had another chance to throw him out. Scoring position once again, only one down. Let's try to have another scoreless inning. That's going to be it for our starting pitcher today. Let's see if Sam Hentges can get us out of this mound visits. Taylor Ward pinch hitting. Hank Aaron, perfect throw home if he goes. And he's not. Oh, I got so excited. All right, we really need a double play. Probably going to be pounding sinkers low in the zone. Not a double play. Steve Finley got that perfect throw. I don't expect him to run on this with only six speed. Yeah, so we just need one more out, and we have another scoreless inning. And there we go. Did not mess up the throw that time. It almost looked like he was about to. Still tied, heading to the bottom of the second. If we could score at least one run here, we'd be three outs away from win number four. Is that going to get down? Okay. Well, that is the potential right now winning run. The go-ahead run, if we could just get him across to score following the leadoff single. I can't believe I've had the PCI under the ball so often. Not just today, but the last few days. Maybe I need to start the PCI a little bit higher in the zone. Now we need to get good timing. That's dropping too? I mean, I, like I've had some... Oh, wait, we might be gunned at third. Runners on the corners, only one down. I have had hard hit balls out today, so it's kind of balancing itself out a little bit. Ian Happ, runner 90 feet away, a deep fly ball, and we've taken the lead. Y'all saw where the PCI was maybe when I was starting. It's super low in the zone. I wanted anything except a double play right there, 61 speed. We're three outs away from being 4-0 with this team. Our number nine hitter, Danny Jansen, could potentially get that top of the lineup. That's Steve Finley back up again. And he doesn't, man. I really, if I want to be going 12-0 in this video, need to find my swing a little bit better than what we're doing right now. Yeah, we have a lead. But hitting like this is not going to get me to that first 12-0 of the year. Should be on number one. Oh, no. 
99 speed. Dang it, man. I thought he was going to make that play. We got to watch out for the steal. That's the tying run leading off this inning. Hank Aaron. We got the ground ball, but he sends it through the hole. And now the tying run is in scoring position. Go ahead and run is on first. Nobody down. And that's going to tie the game and give my opponent the lead. The turns have tabled. In the top of the third inning, still nobody down. That's out number one. Good recovery, but I don't like how this inning started. Is he really going? Oh, he's not going to third. Three and two to Brian Reynolds. Perfect release. Going to be strike three. And if Hank Aaron gets here, we're on our way to the bottom of the third inning. The good news is, even though we're losing by one, We've got Steve Finley, who was the hero from last game. We've got 99 Hank Aaron on deck and then Anthony Rizzo following him. This is the perfect opportunity to come back. If I want to go 12-0, I'm going to need to be able to score at least one run in a situation like this. I thought Steve Finley just tied it. Oh, man. And Steve Finley might tie it. He does. The hero last game is the hero this game. Superman, Steve Finley. Fourth of the year is a big one. Two to two to lead off the bottom of the third. And Hank Aaron now. Still looking for his first home run, but he's in scoring position as the winning run with nobody down. Anthony Rizzo wins the game for us. We are 4-0 and with this team. One third of the way towards 12-0. and Let's see if we can go be 5-0 and home team again. So we get a pitch first. And again, there is a Lou Brock in the leadoff spot. What are the odds that the first three games of the day, every opponent has Lou Brock as their leadoff hitter? And he's getting a base hit. Wait, I thought Anthony Rizzo was just going to stick his glove up and catch that one. And we are losing 2-0 to in this game. Eduardo Escobar, perfect, perfect bomb into the bullpen. I thought we had a double play when I saw him swing into that one. I was a little bit surprised, but hey, it happens. That's been a thing for a long time. Every time it happens... I still am mentioning that I'm surprised when it happens. Oh, that was a terrible pitch. And that is a four-pitch walk. We need a double play and badly. If you have any tips for a good double play pitch that doesn't run the risk of being hit for a home run, let me know because I am always open for pitching tips. And the only real bad thing in that inning was the two-run home run. We're down by two. If you want to go 12-0, you got to score. If you want to win, you got to score. So it doesn't really matter that much that we're losing. We've got Steve Finley, Hank Aaron. It sounds like a tie ball game here to me. That was such a hittable pitch. And I don't know what I'm thinking being way out in front of a 97-mile-an-hour sinker. Hank Aaron, let's relax. Let's wait back a little bit. No. This is the worst start to the first inning we could have had. Whatever I was doing in the bottom of the third in that last game we just played, let's go back to it. I hope it drops for my sake. I know it's not going to. Yeah, that was a terrible first inning. It's only going to get better from here. But what we need first is a scoreless top of the second. Keep that deficit right at two. There we go. One pitch, one out. This is exactly what we need to be doing. Full count to Kevin Euclid. I walked him, and now Lou Brock's coming up again. I'm going to go to a left-handed pitcher after this pitch. Oh, maybe we don't even need to. That's a nice out number two from Lou Brock. As long as I don't give up my second two-run homer of the day to Eduardo Escobar, I'll be chilling. And he almost hit one. I'm glad he's only got 62 power versus left-handed pitchers. We're down by two on our way to the bottom of inning number two. Miguel Sano, Francisco Lindor, Bo Bichette. We've got a great lineup. I think we could easily tie the game here, but I really just want at least one run. I don't want to be down by two with no runs on the scoreboard in the bottom of the third. Miguel Sano gets on base. And now a two-run home run of our own, and we tie this game. No, I don't. Uh, I have made some terrible swing decisions. I have not been patient enough at the plates. Let's change that right now. Does it get through? It does. 
We've got the tying run on base following that single by Bo Bichette. Could you imagine if Eduardo Escobar now hit a home run for us? Eduardo Escobar, I thought he hit a home run for us. We're just early. And then I strike out with Eduardo Escobar. Why am I chasing what would have been ball three? Ian Happ, you're our final hope in the bottom of the second. Stop being early, please. And then I strike out with Ian Happ. Yo, I'm down to my final three ounce again. But this time, I haven't even scored a run yet. Oh, man. Okay. We really need to not allow any runs. Top of the third inning. Keep the deficit at two. Good start, man. Stan Musial. I think that might be the nine. No, it's not the 99. Is it? I don't know. Either way, that's a big out number one. Now I need William Contreras to be out number two. Off the bat, I thought it was a home run. I'm really glad, though, that it's out number two. And there we go. It's a one, two, three, top of the third. We actually didn't pitch that badly this game besides a mistake pitch to Eduardo Escobar. There right now is the reason we're down 2-0. Final three outs in this game. Once again, potentially in this video, playing until 12-0 or one loss on my mom's birthday today. Let's make her proud. Try to come back again. Danny Jansen goes yard, baby. It's, oh wait, that's foul again. Danny Jansen brings up the tying run. Nobody down. And Steve Finley's coming up with Hank Aaron on deck. Steve Finley has been nothing but clutch. Nothing but ice injected into his veins today. Let's see if he has any left. No. No. Steve Finley, throw to second. Please try. Okay. That's fine with me, man. Hank Aaron still needs his first home run. This is game number five of this run. I don't have a homer yet with 99 Hank Aaron. If I can't get a home run right here, I don't even deserve to win this game, right? No home runs yet. He's got to come through at least once. We've got a full count to 99 Hammer and Hank Aaron. I like the swing, but we weren't quite on it. Down to my final out in this game in this video and anthony rizzo pci perfectly on the ball a little bit early a little bit down in front drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe for daily uploads i will see y'all in tomorrow's daily upload thank you so much for watching hope you have a great rest of your day peace